Ladies and gentlemen, tech enthusiasts, and Spotify premium plan holders, hold on to your headphones because today's top tech story is all about Spotify's latest moves to hit your wallet a little harder. Spotify has been the talk of the tech town today, and no, it's not because of a new catchy playlist or an AI-generated mixtape. The Swedish streaming giant has announced yet another price hike for its premium plans in the US. This marks the second time within a year that Spotify has decided to up its prices. So why all the fuss? Allow me to break it down for you. Starting next month, Spotify's most used plan, the premium individual plan, will cost $11.99 per month, up from $10.99. If you're sharing a duo plan with your special someone or your favorite roommate, you'll be paying $16.99, up from $14.99. And if you're on a family plan, expect a $3 bump, lifting the cost to $19.99 per month. The student plan, though, graciously remains untouched at $5.99. You might be wondering, what gives Spotify? The company has stated that this price adjustment is necessary to continue to invest in and innovate on our product offerings and features. Essentially, this means they want to keep freshening up their app with new features while also remaining competitive in the ever-intensifying streaming wars against big names like Apple Music and Amazon Music. These changes have naturally sparked a buzz in the stock market. Spotify's shares reacted positively to the news, jumping by around 5%, touching a price above $310 per share. Investors seem to be optimistic about the company's ability to boost its profit margins through these price hikes. And it's not just about adding coins to their coffers. Spotify has been trimming down expenses by reducing marketing budgets and implementing layoffs to tighten up their financials. The company has made it clear they're keen on improving their profit margins. Further financial maneuvers include exploring tailored subscription offers, Cormorth it, possibly eyeing segments like audiobooks and podcasts to draw in more users willing to pay a premium for specific content. All this is happening at a time when the company has been showing promising growth numbers. In their first quarter report, Spotify revealed a 14% increase in premium subscribers, bringing the number up to 239 million. They also hit a record quarterly gross profit of over 1 billion euros, riding high on trimmed marketing costs. Now, if you're thinking all this is going to make Spotify too pricey compared to other services, you're not wrong. This makes Spotify's individual plan more expensive than Apple Music, which sits at $10.99 per month and significantly higher than Amazon Music's $9.99. But given Spotify's vast library, user-friendly interface, and unique features like personalized playlists and podcasts, the company seems to be banking on its value proposition to justify the price bump. In summary, Spotify's price hike is all about bolstering financial health and continuing to innovate, even if it means asking users to shell out a bit more every month. Whether these moves will keep the loyalists and attract new subscribers remains to be seen. So if you're a Spotify user, get ready for that email notifying you about these changes, and perhaps start rethinking your monthly budget. For now, let's watch this space to see how these price hikes impact the streaming giant's long-term growth and subscriber loyalty. Thanks for watching to the end. Remember, this is just one story from our full daily show, which includes all the other news and an analysis of the day's tech market activity. If you found this video interesting or insightful, then please like, subscribe, and share it with others. Your support is greatly appreciated. Catch you later.